my sweets. So today we are going to be reading a story called If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. And you see here that this little mouse is getting all ready for what holiday? Christmas, yeah. So we're going to be reading this story all about mouse as he goes to the movies around Christmas time. Here we go. If you take a mouse to the movies by Laura Numeroff, she's the author, that means she wrote the words, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to the movies. You see he's getting all ready? If you take a mouse to the movies, you see him in his hood. He'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, do you like getting popcorn when you used to go to the movies? Me too, I hope sometime we can go back and see movies. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. Some people make garland for their tree out of popcorn. So that's what he's doing. Then instead of watching the movie, now he wants to run home and put it on his tree. <laughs> so you'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard and he'll want to make one of his own. So a little boy went and bought him a Christmas tree. Now he's making a snowman. This Christmas tree says it's like $45. And look at, he's only got, looks like dimes in his hand. That's not enough. So he's going, oh, I'm going to need to go get more money. See his pockets out. Meanwhile, Mouse is having the time of his life <laughs> building that snowman. Or is it? What did he make? Yeah, a snow mouse. Then he'll need a carrot for the nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. And he'll ask you to help him. So he's making it. Got the carrot for the nose, putting the hat on from his head. <laughs> okay. Now he wants to make a fort. Look at all the extra carrots he has laying there. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. See him up there on the tower, on the fort. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. He hung up his wet clothes on the lamp. I wouldn't want his wet clothes hanging on my lamp. I'd put him in the washing machine and wash him and dry him, right? He's so sleepy and cold. Ooh. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. That means Christmas songs. So you'll have to find some on the radio. Little boy's got out his little radio. It's all snuggled up in the blanket. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree and he'll want to make some ornaments. So singing Christmas music made him remember, oh yeah, I gotta decorate my tree. Little boy's plugging his ears because of the mouse is singing. <laughs> so you'll get him some paper and glue. And then he'll ask you for glitter. What do you know about glitter? It makes a mess. He's bringing in the tree. When the ornaments are done, look at all these beautiful ornaments he made. But there's glitter everywhere, isn't there? When the ornaments are done, he'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back to look at the tree
and he'll notice his popcorn string is missing. What is going on with his tree? Why does it curve like that? Why does it look like that? Yeah, he puts so many ornaments on it that it's so heavy that the top's bending over. You can't put that many things on the tree. Look at the tree is covered. You can't even see the tree. It looks like one giant ornament. So he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are that when you give him the popcorn, what's he gonna wanna do? He'll want you to take him to the movies. <laughs> Did he ever get to watch his movie in the first place? No, because remember he had to leave and run home to put his popcorn string on the Christmas tree. The end. I hope you enjoyed this cute and funny story of if you take mouse to the movies. All right, my loves, let's hold our hands and let's pray. Today, let's just pray, Jesus, Savior, wash away. Pray with me. One, fold your hands. Two, three. Jesus, Savior, wash away all that I've done wrong today. Make me ever more like you, good and gentle, kind and true. Amen. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for class. Bye. I love you.